Hello everybody. I've decided to do a bit of a last minute live stream. I've just briefly advertised it on Instagram and Facebook. So I do hope that a couple of you will come along and my cat's just woken up, oh, off she goes. And it's just a quick one today because I'm quite tired. I've just done a set of four day shifts, uh, 12 hour day shifts and it was tired me up because I never quite get enough sleep. I can never quite manage to go to bed at a good time. And even if I do get to bed, I still end up looking at my phone for way longer than I need to in bed. And before you know it, the alarm's going off at quarter past five in the morning and off I go to work all sleepy and stuff. So that's why I'm a little bit tired today, but I felt like doing a little bit of a live. Oh, hi Tracy, just saw Tracy in Peter's live. So I was watching Peter's live, Peter Fragrance View did a live stream. I just caught sort of the last half or so of it, but he included a couple of group meditations, which was actually really nice. And I took part in the second meditation because I didn't join in time to do the first one. And I did find it really relaxing to the point that I was falling asleep. My mind, you know, when your mind does that, just starts to create dreams, you're not quite asleep, but it starts creating dreams in your head. I got there and then I felt really kind of relaxed and tired after that. And I feel all blissed out and relaxed and stuff. But I thought I'd just do this live just to catch up with my favourite people, which if you don't realise, it's you. And that's what I wanted to do. I got tagged today in a video by Mark from Aussie Fragrance on your bottom five fragrances. And I really fancied doing that in a live stream. Just gonna try and now catch my actual uh, comments and stuff so that I can keep up with you all. Oh, here we are, right. Um, yes, Tracy says, lovely relaxing meditations. Yeah, they really work, really nice. I'm gonna go back and do those. I know you're not supposed to fall asleep doing meditations or, or those particular targeted ones, but I am gonna do them to get to sleep, I think, because, well, it definitely works. <laughs> Hi, Joss, Joss Jane is here, and Dave, DB70 is here as well. So we've got a nice, Nice little group of people already. Good to see you all. And thank you for popping by. So let's just warm things up with our scent of the night, shall we? And we have Gaef Warder. Greetings from Norway. Hi, all the way over there in Norway, which I'm guessing is probably, st is it still a bit chilly over there? We've been quite warm over here the last few days, which would have been lovely had I not been working. <laughs> But I got to, I, I pop out from work and do a little walk uh, just to catch some of the sun. Just, just put on a Shakira's Paradise Elixir. I've not heard of that. Um, Deanna, good evening Claire. Hi Deanna. And Dave is wearing Canotto di Ligueria from Aqua de Palma. Robert Crawford's here. Hi Robert. Uh, you're looking very radiant tonight. Thank you. It might be helped a little bit but this is only my third and this is going to be my last as well because I am tired. Vodka and cherry coke but it is uh, the diet version, the Pepsi Max, cherry Pepsi Max or whatever you want to call it. Uh, Joss reminds me of SA Lord of Bronze Goddess. Okay, don't love Bronze Goddess. I can understand why people like it. I like a tropical coconutty type fragrance, but I think it's the tuberose. I'm more of a, I prefer a tiara flower, a frangipani over a tuberose. Outlaw Frags, hiya. Uh, hey love, glad to see you. Good to see you too. And uh, do share your scent of the day, people, if you haven't done already. Uh, Joss says it's actually nicer than Bronze Goddess so far in her opinion. Cool, sounds great. So my scent of the, I'll talk about my scents of the day. I say scents because there's been a few and then I'll talk about my scents of the night. So 
this morning when I scented myself before work at stupid o'clock in the morning, I wore, I've got it here actually, this was my main fragrance and this is the one I posted a picture of on Instagram and I wore this up here and then on this arm and I spray the whole arm, elbow to wrist, that was Whispers in the Library from Maison Margiela and then this uh, wrist to elbow area was coated in Iris Ganache from Guerlain. Since then though, at work, I did respray the my insolence and then later on I put some iris ganache up here on top of my insolence when my insolence was kind of wearing down and then when I got home from work or was it at work I'm trying to remember what I've done yeah when I got home from work I sprayed powder and dust all up here and this side I sprayed the new the latest addition to the family which is La Mia Perla which is a really nice benzoin powdery slightly floral but I think it's quite discreet this one it might not have enough presence for me it might be just a bit too discreet but I still need to give it a proper testing. Uh, Deanna was wearing Zoolo Zoologist B, lovely, I love that. Shrak was wearing one, a CK1 Summer 2014 edition. Um, uh, uh, Outlaw Frag says A, B, Blue, and Joss is asking what that is. I'm not sure either, so yeah, do let us know. Um, Chang Louis, hello, scent of the day, Oris Tattoo, Parlemois de Parfum, interesting, I don't think I've tried that, I have got a sample set that a lovely fragrant friend sent me, and I don't think that's one of them, I think I'd remember, um, oh, Blue Seduction from Antonio Banderas, okay, John Snow, good evening. Hi, John, good evening. Says, this is a treat. Oh, that's very nice. Um, uh, centralized. Hi, Barry. Says, hey, Claire, hey, everyone. And he's put a couple of egg emojis. <laughs> very, uh, very, uh, oh, and bunnies too. Very nice, very nice. Happy Easter, everyone, by the way. Uh, Outlaw Frag says, it's a wonderful cheapie for the Antonio Banderas one. Deanna says, powder and dust, what's it like? Oh my God, I flipping well love it. So it's uh, the pear, there's a pear note and it's like pear drops. So if you don't know what that is, if you're, you don't get those in whatever country you're in, it's a hard boiled sweet that's flavored with pear. So it's a very sweet and quite condensed pear rather than a fresh natural, pear from the fruit bowl and we all like a good pear don't we um so it's like a sweet pear there's a slight fizziness and a powderiness so there is mimosa in here um there's definitely some vanilla and there's a hint of pepper i think gives it a little bit of a lift I really love it. It's definitely in my top three all-time favourite perfumes ever. That's how much I love it. And I get really excellent performance from it as well. Uh, Joss says, hi friends to everyone. And Barry was wearing Bulgari Aqua Marine. I'm not sure if I know that one. I know the original Aqua, the one that's just called Aqua. I know Aqua Almara, of course. Uh, not sure if I know that one. And Robert was wearing Creed's Green Irish Tweed, and now Forbidden Dreams by Killian. Joss, uh, love, Joss says she loves a good GP. Marty Vincenzi, is that how I say it? I wore a Flora Botanica today, that's a nice one. Very green, has that kind of unusual, almost cannabis-like note. I think I prefer the Rosa Botanica version. Uh, Robert, oh you're there John. <laughs> 
Shrek says Antonio Banderas is a sexy man. Um, <laughs> oh, Paul. Paul, you should be working. Ooh, uh, misses. John, uh, forbidden games. Can I sniff you? You two need to go and get a room. Um, Just at night says, hi, Claire. And we have some more bunnies. Well, I love a bunny, uh, especially if I can figure out where to put the battery. John Snow is just Shrek. Oh, Antonio is certainly a very handsome chap. <laughs> okay, lots of man love going on in the room. <laughs> Paul, Paul is my colleague from work who's supposed to be doing a night shift <laughs> and he wants to sniff a pair. Okay, well there's, yeah. Um, is your missus not upstairs? Ad Astra, greetings from Germany. Sent the other day was cowboy grass from DS and Derja. Ad Astra is definitely a pizza from Pizza Hut that I quite like. <laughs> Pollo Ad Astra. I'm sure it has more meaning than that though. And Gaif uh, is wearing Creed Royal Oud. It was a little bit cold today, so I decided to wear it. Uh, any uh, Robert says, anyway, shout out to my son. Robert, today, 19, I'm getting old, need a pick-me-up. Oh, happy birthday to Robert Jr. <laughs> uh, John Snow says, a juicy pear, Paul, ha-ha. And Paul says, a pear scent, I mean, of course you mean that, Paul. Just Add Light is wearing Italian Cypress and grey vetiver. Ah, so you're wearing both together. And... Uh, Shrek says, Paul, tell us all the ossif, oh, ossif gossip, oh, office gossip. I don't think there's any office gossip. Not with us old dinosaurs. <laughs> and Joss Jane just has uh, shared a load of pear emojis. So Joss is showing you her pear, her pear, Paul, if you want to have an eyeful. <laughs> so let's have a little sip. Cheers, Paul. Hope that, that work is okay for you. <sighs> Lips are sealed. That's for the best. I mean, there's more gossip about you, Paul, than anyone else. <laughs> That's the cat. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Have you got a drink? Paul, if you've got a drink, don't tell us because um, you, we're not the only colleagues that might be watching this. Cheers, people. Yeah, we won't talk about the Christmas party, eh, Paul? <laughs> right, come on, let's get back to frag business. Uh, what is it? Bottom, bottom fragrances. So fragrances you put up your... No, fragrances you don't wear that much. So the five fragrances from my collection that I don't wear too much. Okay. Paul's got a Diet Coke, cheers. Uh, <laughs> Shang Li Dior's Belle de Jour is a pear scent, quite lovely. I haven't tried that. I'm interested in trying all pear scents, although they don't always meet my expectations. I don't want them to be watery. I like them to be quite thick. I like a nice big, thick pear. So yes. So five fragrances for that. Here comes the cat, so don't jump up here. Here she comes. She's Come on then, where are you going? Up here then. That's it, hello. Hello, sweetie. Um, yes, five fragrances I don't reach for that much, but do share yours because, you know, we're here as a group. It's not just, it's not all about me. It's not all about sweetie either, although she would never believe me. John Snow says, Ultra Male certainly is a hefty pear fragrance, hits you right in the face. I don't think I know that one too well, actually. I mean, I've smelt pretty much all the flankers over the years, but without paying that much attention. Um, Robert, Christmas party do tell we know Claire isn't shy. There really is not too much to tell. I mean, there, there's quite a lot to tell, but it's not that much about me. I don't think. Um, 
Gary, hi gorgeous, you definitely cheer me up these days. Oh, thank you. Um, Shaver Fun, did you catch Sebastian's latest video? Five fragrances Boris Johnson, Johnson should wear once he fully recovers. Uh, funnily enough, I didn't see that one, Shaver Fun, but I might actually um, copy that idea. I think it's a great one. Um, yeah, something reviving. What would we scent Boris with for his recovery? In fact, that would be really quite a fun video. I would probably start with something like 4711, which is very reviving. Maybe something lavender centric for uh, the healing properties of lavender. So let's go for uh, Bogue Perfumos and Mem, which is really heavy on the lavender. That's great for healing and it's antiseptic. Uh, John says Shaver Fong was chlorophyll, one of them. Hmm. Okay, Chlorof chlorophyll reminds me of science lessons, but I don't think that's just quite the same thing we're thinking about. Gary says Armoni, Armoni Profumo Code, love it, but it gives me a headache. So that's one that you don't wear or reach for too often. Robert says depends on the size of the pair. Shrek says a whole Trump fragrance line to heal Boris. Okay. Has anyone tried any Trump fragrances? I'm, I'm curious. Are they shocking? I'm expecting they'd be shocking. John Snow says, I was mixed up there. Chlorophyll is the green stuff in plants. You're right. Yes, I remember chlorophyll from science uh, and when we learned about plants, osmosis, and there's that, there was some sort of machine that spun around. Like, oh God, it's all a blur. It's all a blur. I think you maybe make chloroform. Is it chloroform that you like put in a, yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, this is taking a really strange turn. Uh, centralized Barry says, what about something that can choke someone out? Um, as in something you don't reach for, as in, or as in something that you would scent our prime minister with? Frank Enthusiast, such relief watching you, Claire. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Thank you. It makes it all worthwhile. A shame if I'm just sniffed our oh, Armani Code Absolute uh, in a copy of GQ magazine and didn't realise how good it is. Interesting. Oh, Outlaw Frank, I love your live feed. You always make me smile. Oh, this is really nice. This is so nice. Thank you. Did you ever cut up a frog, Claire? Absolutely not. If that had happened in one of my science classes, I would have really created quite a storm, especially back then. I love animals, I always have, but I was a little bit more full fright about it when I was younger. So if they'd have tried that in my class, I think it would have kicked off because our class was, well, it kicked off a few times anyway, just for really silly things. So yeah, I think it would have kicked off and I would have been at the front, <laughs> I'd have been at the front lines with that one for sure. Yeah, no, if they'd have tried that on me, I would have gone mental, trust me. Gary, had to sell my coach for men, far too strong and heady. I think it's the pear. We keep talking about pears, don't we? Deanna, hypnotic poison, Lolita Lempica, alien essence absolute. The former three are just too sweet for me these days. I think my nose has hit its early 30s, growing up and more refined. It's funny you should say that, Deanna. If you hang around, you might see a couple of those in my list. Or, or very close, very similar. So I suppose I should probably share at least one with you now because we are like, I don't know, half an hour in or something. So yeah, uh, no, 18 minutes. So I'm just gonna have another little sip and then I will definitely share a frag with you. Right then. So with uh, Deanna's comment just there, I've got one so what I, I let me just explain the rules I set for myself on this task I decided not to go for any fragrances that had been given to me by the brand because obviously I hadn't chosen those for myself in the first place in some instances so I thought I'd disclude all of those and only include fragrances I bought for myself or that were bought for me as gifts so there so this fragrance I bought for myself, and it's Hypnotic Poison, and it's the Eau Secret. It's a discontinued limited edition fragrance. It's very similar to the original Hypnotic Poison. I don't 
know too much the differences except I understand this is a slightly lighter version this is still I believe to be an eau de toilette yes it is uh, notes of mandarin jasmine sandback vanilla that's it that's all the notes listed on the bottle anyway and I did spray where did I spray it here oh god sweetie hair I did spray it here just about 10 minutes ago and I think the, I, I really like how it smells. It's so me because it's very almondy, sweet, vanillic. The problem is it's a bit linear. And also, the other problem is I'm judging it based on the eau de toilette that I've tried in the past. And I haven't even bothered to give it a full wearing. <laughs> so I haven't done it any justice. It has done nothing wrong. It does not deserve to be in this list. But I still haven't got around to giving it a full wearing. And there must be some reason psychologically why that's happened. Even though it smells really lovely. And I don't know why. It's, it's a really lovely vanilla, almond. It feels like there's a slight hint of incense smoke in the background, which makes it really interesting. It's a touch like Play-Doh as well. If you like those Play-Doh or doll's head type scents, it's quite like that. It's actually really nice. So just by doing this video, getting it out, getting it out and showing you lot, it's making me think I am going to give it a full wearing, but I haven't. So I've had it months and months and I haven't bothered to give it a full wearing. And I feel like I've done it in injustice. So I'm kind of repenting in front of you all right now, but I haven't worn this. Naughty me. Has anyone tried it? Let me know. <laughs> okay. Um, Dave DB70 says, I know this may be heresy, but the fragrance that I've bought because of the hype and where the least is Habit Rouge Eau de Parfum is classic, but not for me, I'm afraid. Yeah, that's fine. It's um, I mean, Habit Rouge is nice. I think I prefer the lighter versions, like the um, Eau de Toilette or the Sport. The Sport is gorgeous. Um, yeah, not just because everyone else thinks something's great doesn't mean that you're going to think it's great. So, um, uh, Kenzo, twenty five. What's your favourite from Serge Luton's? I'm not massively, massively familiar. Uh, off the top of my head. I don't know that there's any, oh, what was the, no, um, there's a spicy one and there's two that I mix up. There's Umbra Sultan and, I can't remember, there's two spicy ones. It's the less drier, more sweet one that I like, but I don't own any, so that probably tells you enough. Uh, I haven't found my Serge Luton's yet. Uh, Scott's here. Hi, Scott. Centurion's here. Um, Robert says, so at your school did you go, go about in a motorcycle helmet so you didn't hurt yourself? I wasn't that special. I wasn't that special. Um, Paul Wilson, and I absolutely love that glass. Does it come as a pair? You're obsessed with pairs. Uh, I, I think, how did I buy them? They're from Asda's and I think they, I bought them all separately. But yeah, they're not, they're not expensive. And you can fit a lot in there. Oh, Hilary's here. Hi, Hilary. Hilary, I haven't seen you around for a little while. I was actually worried about you. And then I saw your photo with you and your lovely little boy today on Instagram. And I thought, oh, she's okay. She's coping. Everyone's glad to see Hilary. As always, much loved. John, does head smell? What a strange image. Yeah, you know, we've, we've got that memory of those plastic toys. Uh, My Little Ponies as well, Care Bears, I think. They all had that fake strawberry type scent. Uh, Joss Jane, the... That is hearkening to mind the movie Toy Story, Doll's Head. Okay, I'm trying to remember. It's been a while since I saw Toy Story. I have seen it a few times, but it's been a while. Uh, Gary says, is Stash from Sarah Jessica Parker 
okay for men to wear. I think it's absolutely okay. It's actually, to me, more masculine than feminine. Quite a strong sort of combination of, of woodsy vetiver with a hint of coconut. So it's very woody, uh, very, very strong and intense and I would say leans more masculine than feminine, so absolutely. Uh, Hilary just watched Toy Story today with her boy, kiddo as she calls him. <laughs> She's very cute. Uh, and Joss says she just got rid of Stash because it read too masculine for her taste. So there you go, you see. Um, Robert says, due to the current circumstances, maybe saying I'm wearing poison doesn't sound right. Placebo effect working. I thought about wearing that today. It keeps, it, I keep looking at it and I think I'm gonna wear that today, but I haven't done. Maybe I will tomorrow. Maybe I will tomorrow. Uh, Curious Perfumer, hello. Please tell me your real name, Curious Perfumer. I think you might have mentioned it in one video once and I've forgotten and I'm not good at names. A curious perfumer if you don't know who she is everyone she has a very lovely youtube channel as does joss jane as does hillary the bureau nerdy fragrance reviews and our perfumed vegas is here too she also has a lovely channel uh holly so we have a lovely little selection of people today um joss says sid the naughty kid next door makes Franken toys and one has a doll's head. <laughs> Sounds a little bit fucked up actually. <laughs> uh, Heather's here. Hi Heather. Heather with your, you're one of the few that's actually got a spanner actually. I might start handing some more spanners out. If anyone wants a spanner let me know. A spanner aka a wrench. Do you want to be my monkey wrench? I'll let you. And Perfume Vegas has just finished watching Joss's latest video, which was one of those get ready with me ones where she just puts makeup on and has a chat. I like those. I was thinking of copying that. I know it's a big thing on YouTube. Uh, probably wouldn't get me many views at all because it's not my usual genre, but I find them really relaxing to watch. When I watch uh, Get Ready With Me, um, people are just putting makeup on and chatting. I find that really relaxing, so I quite fancy doing one. I'll give it a go. Uh, where's the duck? Where the fuck is the duck? Where's Rich? He must be having a nap. He wasn't, I don't think he was in Peter's live either. So yeah, he must be having an extended duck nap. Uh, so curious perfume my name is alice most people spell it alice but my mum just had to be different thanks for the sweet shout out ali so do we say alice or alice is it like alice or alice let me know let me know we're not we're not done here just yet um Centralised Joss, I enjoyed your scent my ride. I still need to see that. I didn't realise you'd done that, Joss, so I need to watch that one. Um, John says he can't handle big tools. I don't know, I think you handle Robert very well, John. Robert, I don't have a perfume channel, but I have an OnlyFans one. Special prices since it's Easter. Eric Gonzalez, the title of the chat made me grab my least used fragrance, Azaro. Actor, loving the resinous mossy rose now. That sounds really interesting. I've never heard of it. Um, curious perfumer, Ali, Alice. Most people pronounce it like Alice. 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 Oh, I need to just choose a way of saying it and stick with it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to mess my head up. <laughs> Arlise. Arlise. I'm going to call you Arlise if that's okay. Arlise. Right then. I'm running low. I said this was going to be my last one, but I kind of fancy another one. Uh. Right, so we've done one frag. <laughs> one down, four to go. So we've done 
Hypnotic Poison O Secret. I did say, has anyone tried that one? Do you know it? Let me know what you think if you have. Uh, John says, that's a bit northern, Claire. Sounds like our lease. Yeah, so up north in the UK, everyone's our something. Well, I say our, but in the, up in the north, they say our. Uh, like, so if you've got a sister called Sue, you'd say our uh, Sue. Oh, if you if you talk about my cat, for example, you say "Ah, oh, sweetie." I think that's what you're saying, John. Right then, so let's move on to another fragrance. So this one is a, a different reason for not wearing it. Uh, Barry says, "Claire, I thought your car looking like a Smurf was so funny. It couldn't be a more apt car for me. I just do you know what the story of that car." I was going to the dealership to look at the small version of those Citroens. You know, like the tiny little Citroens, the really fucking tiny, shitty little Citroens. I was trying to be all sensible and get like the smallest little car. And then on the forecourt, and so the car I went to look at was, you know, it was really cheap, very cheap to run. It was made out of uh, aluminium. It was... It was the same colour as my car, but it was tiny. It didn't have the nice white roof. And on the forecourt was that car. And it was like, that is so me. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the car I got. So the next fragrance is... Well, I don't even know if this is real. This is the reason why I don't wear it. It's Eau de Cologne, Chalamar Eau de Cologne. But I think it might be fake. And maybe one of you lot can tell me. The reason I'm worried it's fake is because I bought it in a job lot. I bought it in a job lot on eBay. And one of the other fragrances in that job lot was a blatant fake. Can't remember what it was now. I think I was completely happy with one of with one or two of them. One of them was a blatant fake. My concern with this is if you look at the label, it's not straight. And I can't imagine a girl Anne putting that label on not straight. Apart from that, I mean, this this lid feels fairly good. I mean, it looks like the one I had on my our previous Galan, but, and it smells very Shalimar-ish, but there's nothing on the bottom. So why would someone peel the sticker off the bottom? That says to me it's fake. Um, but it really smells like Shalimar. But, even if it, even if I was confident it was real, I still wouldn't wear it because Shalimar's a little bit too harsh for me. I like the, I like some of the flankers. I like Souffle, um, but Shalimar, the original, has just got that really harsh opening. Quite, I think it's quite masculine. So yeah, I have no idea if that's fake or not. Probably is. I don't know, but whether it is or not, it still doesn't get worn. <laughs> because I just got it in a group lot really that's that's the truth of the matter but I thought the cologne is really hard to come by these days Robert says look at the label when you're sober or hold the bottle straight trust me I was sober when I spotted the fact that the label is not straight hi Amy hello <laughs> and Ben's here as well so Ben off of Talking Sense, we have got a fabulous video for you lot tomorrow at 4pm. Uh, it's premiering, so it's pre-recorded, but we'll be in, hopefully Ben, you can still make it, we'll be in the live chat. So it'll be just like you are chatting now, but I will be chatting, as will Ben, and you can watch our fun video that we made. I hope you like it. I hope as many of you can come along as possible because it's kind of funny I think and Ben hasn't Ben only knows his side of the video he hasn't seen my part of it and I think it might make you laugh Ben well you know I mean you set the whole thing up so <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> Ali so where did you get that crazy looking Shalimar yeah it was on eBay um, I think it needs to probably needs to be destroyed <laughs> Uh, ben will be there, so yes, it's going to be fun, it's going to be awesome. Uh, Joss will have to watch it on replay, but it sounds fun. It, yeah, it's a bit long as well, it's an hour and 20 minutes. 
but yes, I think I think it's going to be fun. Deanna, I agree about Shalimar, hardcore. The newer Shalimar Cologne EDT is quite nice. Parfum Initial is my favourite. That's really quite well loved, the Parfum Initial. I still don't quite, I don't quite love it though. I've smelt it, um, sorry, itchy nose. I smelt it, but I don't quite love it. And Amy's currently wearing the Souffle Intense. The Souffle Intense is really interesting because when I first sampled it, I liked it quite a lot, but I didn't want to own it. Then I sampled it a bit more and decided I needed to own it. Got one bottle, loved it so much I had to get a backup bottle. Wore it loads, it was featured in a video of my most warm fragrances. In fact, it might have had a video dedicated just to itself. And then something happened and I stopped wearing it. And I ended up selling both bottles. I had the special peacock bottle and a normal bottle and I sold them both and I wasn't wearing them. Not that I didn't like them, I did really like them, but I, I think just I'm a fickle, I'm a fickle fucker. And yeah, I might regret that. I might end up getting another bottle at some point. It's definitely a really gorgeous designer scent, I think. Heather, I still have Cologne 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 by Mugler on. I've been binge, binge watching Broadchurch. Oh, I remember that. Back back when I used to have a TV. <laughs> I've got a TV coming. It's coming on Wednesday because I locked down. <laughs> I was all like yeah, I'm so new age, I don't have a TV, and I haven't had a TV since August when I moved in here. But I had a couple of moments when all this started of getting a little bit down, shall we say, and I remember chatting to my mum. First mum diagnosed early onset menopause, which made me feel so much better. And then she prescribed a television. And I think actually, yeah, Maybe it'd be nice to have a TV, so I've decided to get one and I'm going to watch stuff like you lot do. Oh, Jim's here. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date, which is so appropriate because that's what the white rabbit says. Uh, Amy says, the peacock bottle, Shalimar Souffle, is so pretty. It's a, go it's a gorgeous bottle. Gorgeous. Everyone's saying hi to Jim because everyone loves Jim. Uh, Oh, there's a love fest going on. Everyone's saying hi to everyone. This is so nice. Uh, Heather, I'm in the middle of the second season. Paused it when I saw the notification of Claire's video. Oh, that's really kind. I'm glad you came along, Heather. Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't know if I ended up seeing the end of that. Or if there, was there another, was there only ever one series or did they make more? It definitely was very, very, uh, what do you call it? Encapsulating? I don't know. Very, uh, I love a whodunit. It's very much a whodunit. Uh, and Joss is asking Heather if she happens to watch Doctor Who too. I So I'm not up on TV, unfortunately, myself, because, yeah, I have not been watching it. But I did watch on my laptop. What's it called? It's Stephen King. Oh, The, the Stand. <laughs> Which is rather appropriate with the whole pandemic thing. Um, the Stand is about the Stephen King novel and it's about a virus that's kind of man, I think it's man-made, and it accidentally gets out and kills people very, very quickly. And it's the it's almost like a zombie film, but it's not. It's not about zombies, but uh, it's about what happens to the the very unusual few people that survive and there's basically good and evil very much straight down the middle good the good head that way the evil head that way and then they have to there has to be a big epic kind of battle thing anyhow i've probably ruined it for you if you're planning to watch that but um it's really quite old and scary <laughs> um everyone's talking about tiger king i do keep hearing about that so maybe uh, that's something for me to watch as well. Uh, Dave says, the stand freaky show from what I can remember. Yeah, quite freaky. Uh, I, I do love Stephen King though. So I read a lot of Stephen King when I was younger. So yeah, I don't know if I'd want to read the book because apparently it's a massive book. 
uh, just says the book especially is good. Ah, so I do wonder, I bet the book is way more detailed as generally they are. Yeah. Okay, so I've done two fragrances. I'm going to have to move on to the third one. Now this might be unexpected. I don't know. I don't know. I've not spoken about this one in a long time. I used to rave about it, so it's Neroli Portofino from Tom Ford. This was gifted to me by Dan, Mr. Smelly, back when we were together, quite early doors uh, in, in, in the relationship, and he bought me that. Um, and I was, I really loved it. And I still really love the way it smells. I've worn it once this year, and I thoroughly enjoyed wearing it the once that I wore it this year, but it doesn't get reached for as much even when it comes to freshies, when it comes to the summer, I think the thing is, in the high heat, the high heat kills fragrances. If you go out in the sun, the sun kills your fragrances. And there's a bit of a myth, that I, I say it's a myth anyway, that freshies uh, do better in the sun. And I think that's utter bullshit. The sun kills all your fragrances, no matter what you're wearing. And freshies are more volatile. They're made up of very volatile chemicals. Sorry, I'm leaking. They're made up of very volatile um, chemicals, the freshies. So the heat kills them a lot quicker. So if I was to wear that and go sunbathing or go for a two hour walk in the sunshine, the sun's gonna kill it really quickly. And actually a heavier fragrance would last better, although it might not feel as appropriate. But that aside, I just don't seem to wear it that much. And I love how it smells. It's so clean and fresh. It's like laundry, like the best laundry. Fresh, washed, with the best conditioner, big pile of lovely fresh clothes, and obviously citrusy. It's not just neroli. Neroli can be quite bitter. I don't think it's mega, mega neroli-ish. It's more bergamot, lemons and limes and oranges. But I mean, it's lovely, but I just don't wear it that much. Uh, Deanna says, that's a good one to ditch. I don't find it appealing. Not fond of many neroli scents anyway. Um, Eric says, personally, I find neroli portofino kind of meh, gravitate to Mugler Cologne instead. Um, uh, John says, I am the same, Deanna, I really can't handle Neroli, it bothers me. Robert says, thanks Claire, feel free to ship to me, I'll wear it. <laughs> I'm not getting rid, I'm just saying I haven't used it very much. Um, Centralized. I would love Norelli Portofino way out of my price range. The perfume parlor one, I don't know if you've tried it, Barry, unless it's changed because I understand they do change their formulas from time to time. The perfume parlor was spot on last time I tried it. No, I honestly would never know the difference side by side. Jim says I love Norelli Portofino because it reminds me of the soap and shower gel I had in my hotel room in Rome. Just brings back good memories. Oh, that's nice. Mohammed says it's so weak. I have to disagree with you, Mohammed. although a lot of people do say it is. On my skin, I still get six to eight hours. I would say probably about four, four hours of decent performance, four to five hours of decent performance, which I think is fine for a really fresh fragrance, although obviously the price is a bit high for that level, but I honestly think the performance is fine. Um, Robert says good at the gym or just out of the shower. I think, yeah, it's a great just out the shower kind of fragrance. Or, um, I don't know, if you're somewhere really hot, if you're on holiday and you have your shower in the evening but it's still really hot outside, it's the perfect fragrance to keep that fresh feeling going on. Chang Lui, Eau de Givenchy, smells close to Neroli Portofino. May I ask your opinion on Bright Neroli of Ferrari? 
Uh, yeah, Bright Neroli is a really nice Neroli scent, but I much prefer this because this has got that lovely musky, clean linen smell and Bright Neroli is more cologne-like, heavy on the citrus. And I prefer this because it's got that more balanced musky, balanced with the muskiness. And that's what I really like. So I would say they're not that similar just because they've got Neroli in the title. A lot of people will say one can outweigh the other. They're, they're different. They're quite different. In my opinion, in my opinion. Um, Mohammed says it's so weak for so hot weather. Yeah, I'm sure in the hot weather it's not great. And I often wear this in the cold weather and I wear it to air conditioned work where the weather doesn't affect it. Um, okay, I'm just trying to catch up with you all and it looks like I am caught up. So I'm gonna have a little swig. I'm running very low with this drink. Oh, I missed my mouth. <laughs> I promise it's only the third one. Okay then, so uh, let's move on to another fragrance. This one, it's Intense Cafe from Montel. I used to have the bigger bottle and now we just have this travel size. So I did actually use up the bigger bottle and I think I must have got this in a swap or something. I can't really remember. It's still fairly full. Probably, it feels like it might be about up to there. Um, I'm early on in my niche journey. I thought Montel Intense Cafe was the bomb. I thought it was one of the best things since sliced bread. And I don't think it's bad. It's spray some on my arm here I think it's really nice whenever I smell it I think it smells lovely but I think the problem is it's a little bit so my next itch I think it's too much perfume today I've had so much perfume on and they're quite vanilla heavy things and I think I'm slightly allergic to vanilla believe it or not so my neck's itching um, so Intense Cafe is kind of like beginner niche. When you first get into niche, it's the one that people kind of recommend if you want to smell something rose or something coffee. And that's kind of, I think, what happened with me. I heard some great things about it. I can't remember what happened. I think I got Intense Cafe in a swap and it was a blind smell. And I was really happy with it. And... I really enjoyed it and I wore it a lot and I felt really good wearing it and then slowly used up the bottle but slowly lost interest in it and I think the thing is again it doesn't have a lot of development it does have a little bit of development but it is kind of it's not that exciting to me anymore even though the rose in here is beautiful the hint of coffee that you get is beautiful the hint of vanilla, or more than a hint of vanilla you get in the dry down. It's a very delectable, edible gourmand fragrance, but it just doesn't quite have the magic that I want. So I stopped really wearing it, and I haven't worn this this year. I don't know if I wore it last year, but it's nice to have a reference. I think it's a it, it's a very important fragrance in the fragrance community, I think. But I just don't wear it. Wayne, hi Claire, just been lurking for a few minutes. My fave Neroli is Van Cleef and Arpel's Neroli Amara. I haven't properly tried that. I think I sprayed it in shops, but I don't I haven't given it time, so but I'm sure it's lovely. Van Cleef and Arpels make beautiful fragrances. Essentialized Barry says, can you fit a whole bottle of wine in that glass? Haven't tried. I reckon I'd probably get about three quarters of a bottle in there. Um, and Susan says, hey there, sorry I'm late for the party. That's fine, Susan. Thanks for checking in. Better late than never, that's what I say. 
Joss says the whole Van Cleef and Arthur's line is fantastic. Amy says to me, intense cafe is misleading. Not very much cafe to my nose, way more rose. Uh, yeah, I would say definitely rose. For me, rose and vanilla, with, I just get a hint of coffee, but in the same proportion, I get a hint of chocolate, like cocoa powder. So yeah, it's nice. It's just, I don't feel like I want to wear it anymore. I don't know why. But if, if I just wanted to smell good, and quite a strong, well, good, long-lasting fragrance. Absolutely, it totally does the job. It's, I think that's the thing. It's almost like it's, for me, it's like a utility fragrance. It doesn't really capture my heart or my imagination. But if you said to me, pick a fragrance out that's probably gonna be universally appealing and will work in on a night out or on a date or something like that, I'd say Intense Cafe, that's probably a good one but it doesn't, it doesn't really do anything for me here or here. So yeah, and that's what it is. It doesn't really capture my heart. Hello, Robert says, not like you to miss your mouth, Claire. You have a wee bit on your cheek and chin. Hopefully not anymore. Over here, we have spots, by the way. I've had two spots this week. This one has now become a scab. This one was a spot today and will no doubt be a scab a little bit later on. Um, Heather, have you, uh, saying to Joss, have you tried Vanille Orchidea? Um, and I'm just reading quickly to see if there's any comments for me to read out. It seems like you're all kind of happy chatting amongst yourselves, which is fine. Um, Heather says, if we discuss hair, I look like Tim Burton and Albert Einstein had a hair baby. I'm sure you don't, Heather. <laughs> and Susan says, I'm hungover today, drank all my wine last night while FaceTiming my best friend. Oh, I bet you had a nice time though. Um, okay, I think, oh, I'm not quite caught up. Okay, I think I'm caught up. I think we are mostly talking amongst ourselves, so that's fine. I will right, we'll move on to another fragrance. So, I think we're on to the last one. So we've done one, two, three, yeah. So the last fragrance. Now, some of you might get upset with me about this, and I'm really sorry. But this is not fragrances I don't like. It's fragrances I just haven't reached for, like factually have not reached for. Um, this is Lolita Lempica, Eau de Parfum, and the original, I think it's the original formulation. I This is a blind buy initially. And I think I got it on eBay in a box set. And I like it, I really genuinely like it. And I've worn it a few times, but I haven't worn it this year. I've, I think I sprayed it, not as my scent of the day, but I've sprayed it on my skin a few times this year, but I haven't properly worn it as my scent of the day. So let's spray it up here. Um, and I think the reason being, is again my issue with things that are a bit linear. I don't know, I wish I didn't have this problem because it's actually fucking annoying. I just like things and I kind of need things to change on my skin, otherwise I get bored, I'm very fickle. That's why I probably end up wearing several fragrances in one day because I'm fickle and I need a constant stimulation. Remember that boys. So the notes in Lolita and Pika are everything that I love. So there's almond and violet and there's vanilla. I think the licorice is just a bit too heavy for me. And that might be another reason why I don't completely love it. Uh, Robert says, Claire, go get a refill. Yeah. 
There's one more mouthful left. Oh. No, there's one more mouthful after that. I might as well just take it now. Uh, uh, yes, got Lizzie's favourite, uh, this one. Lizzie off of Rose and Jones. This is one of her, of her absolute favourite fragrances. Although she really goes on about, <laughs> that sounds rude, she really raves about the Eau de Toilette. This is the Eau de Parfum. The Eau de Toilette, I can't find. I'm watching one on eBay, but I don't know if it, I think it's probably gonna go too expensive for me. Uh, so I imagine that the Eau de Toilette, maybe it will have a little bit more development because of it being a lighter formula. But yeah. I mean, it's lovely, it's really nice. I don't know why I don't reach for it. Except it's a bit linear. Um, uh, Deanna says, I agree about it being linear. It's a little too sweet and it does tend to smell like baby wipes, but I do love it. I wear it to bed. Yeah, I think it's perfect for wearing to bed. It's got that powdery, comforting feel. Baladina says, hi Claire, made it. I recently bought three samples of Mugler's Aura. It's weird in the opening for about the first 30 minutes. After that, it's amazing. Yeah, I've, have I tried Aura? I don't know if I've tried Aura properly, but what I have tried had this weird mushroom note in the opening, which might be what you're talking about. It smelled mushroomy to me. Um, I probably should just try it again properly. And I really want to try the, um, what's the one in the white iridescent bottle? So I want to say scent, scent something. Um, you know what I mean, don't you? Uh, Joss has been looking for the Lolita Lempica EDT too, but it's hard to find. Yes, yeah, sensuel, sensuel, sensuel. Yes, Joss, that's the one. I really need to try that. Um, Linda, the frag hag, loves that one. She's got a bottle. I really need to try that. But you can't find it, it's not in shops. Apparently, you can only get it from Mugler online now. Yeah, Lalita Lampica is so nice. Almond, violet, licorice, powdery, vanillic. Gives you this hum this hum of powdery powdery sweetness and it's not as sweet as you might imagine i think because i used to think oh these are they look like print they're aimed at girls that want to be princesses they're probably going to be ultra sweet you know like um is it vera wang yeah i was expecting them to be like that like candy floss and bubble gum but it's not it's it's grounded it's got this ivy note, which I don't know what ivy smells like, but I think it just lends it a, a grounding note, a hint of something almost earthy, maybe more like an oak moss, something like that. It's not too sweet, so that's not the problem. It's just, it doesn't change that much. It stops me wearing it. But I should wear it, to, I really should wear it to bed because I think it's a very bedtime appropriate. And just to see now, I'm going to have to wear Lolita Lempica tomorrow. Yeah, maybe we should, I, I think, so earlier we were with Peter doing his group meditation. And I quite like that whole group mindset thing. But we could all have like a group mindset for wearing the same fragrance at the same time. I think that'd be really funny if we all said, right, this time, so this time in the UK, which is that time at your place in America, that time at your place in Australia, we are all going to spray on Lolita Lempica and we're all going to reek of Lolita Lempica <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> and I'm spitting again. Oh dear. John says we could all wear brute. Oh, jupe. How about jupe, John? Um, yes, Hilary says, or maybe pick a fragrance with a similar note in case we don't own it. Good idea, Hilary. 
<laughs> Barry says Old Spice. Mm, I don't know. Okay, the boys can do Old Spice or Brute. <laughs> Eric says, I mean, that would be great. I like that idea. Centurion says, yup. Uh, John, well, Claire, I don't want it smelling common. Too late, mate. Um, Josh says it would be interesting to find out which ones we all own. That's a, yeah, that's an interesting point. Um, yeah. I would bet we could, but we could be here a while while we all talk about what fragrances we think we might all own. Oh, here comes the cat. Come on in. There we go. Have we got one more frag or have we done it? I think we've done them all. We've done them all. Come on in, you're going to come in. Come on in. That's it. So, I will show you the cat because they know you want to see my pussy. There she is. There she is. Oh, sweetie. Come on, look up. Oh, she doesn't want to. Uh oh. Uh oh. Her face is all wet from drinking water. So, when she drinks water, you, she gets it all round her face. Don't you, darling? You get all wet, don't you, sweetie? Uh, Barry says, who doesn't have brute? Guess what? I don't have brute. Here she is. Oh, she's so cute. <sighs> they all love you, sweetie. Can you hear her? Just be quiet a minute. Oh, she snorted. Oh, she's so cute. She's really purring. Sweetie. So sweet. Come here. <laughs> Scott says, Do we all have cats? Who's got cats? Who's got cats? Who's got dogs? Who's got anything exotic or unusual? Oh, off she goes. She's going to knock my drink over. Right. Uh oh, what are you knocking over? Sweetie. Oh, you're so sweet. Amy's got a cat. Wayne's got three kitty cats. Uh, Holly, uh, hers isn't at home. Can't pick her up because of the quarantine. Oh, you must be missing her. Heather's got three cats and a dog, all rescues. Dave needs a cat. We all need cats. Susan's got three cats. We're a bunch of cat lovers. We might not be able to find the one fragrance we've all got in common, but we've all got an animal in common. We've got the common pussy cat. Uh, Scott's got one called Tommy. My friend's got a cat called Tommy. A tabby cat. Uh, Barry's got no whammels. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what's Jim saying? I don't have pets, but I have these very large centipede things that freak me out. Jimbo, what on earth are you talking about? Do you mean, are they children? <laughs> uh, Amy's got one called Buttermilk. That is so cute. Oh. <laughs> See, sweetie, they all love cats. They all think you're really cool. So she's been a bit lonely because I've been out at work all day today in the last few days. And I think she's quite glad to have a bit of company. Oh, uh, Jim lives in a hundred year old building. We have all kinds of in odd insects. Gross. Barry says, oh, in my days, that film Human Centipede freaked me out. Just says centipedes are the ickiest, yeah. 
they are pretty gross. <laughs> Wayne says, I think I would move. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't like that at all. Not at all. Okay. I think I am going to call it a day because I've run out of drink and I said I'm only going to have the one. And I've done it. And I've done all the fragrances. And we've done an hour. So, do come back tomorrow, uh, a bit earlier in the day, 4pm UK time, so that's going to be more, I guess, if you're in the States, it's going to be more like mid-morning to lunchtime, and it will be a premiere video, it's a pre-recorded video with Ben from Talking Sense, it's a bit of a long one, it's an hour and 20 minutes, I think you'll find it quite fun, and you'll still be able to chat live just like you are right now but I'll be in the chat, as will Ben, so we can all still chat together while we watch our antics on this collaboration that we've done. I hope that you'll enjoy it. If not, you still can enjoy the chat, and I'm going to go to bed. And I might listen to a meditation, because I got in the mood for a meditation, listen to the one Peter did earlier on his channel. So I might listen to a meditation to help me relax, and get off to sleep, and clear my mind a little bit. So I hope that you are all going to be looking after yourselves and keeping well. And I'll see you tomorrow for the premiere video and absolutely be doing more lives now. I've got past my work. I've done a big, big blob of work. So now I've got quite a few days off in a row. So there'll be more live streams on my channel. So I'll be coming up with some ideas and some themes and stuff and we can all have a lovely chat. So thank you everyone so much for joining in our chat and I will see you all very soon. Bye. And I'll just scroll to Sweetie before we go because we like to do that. There she is. <laughs> yeah. Bye everyone.